Part 2, Watercolor Tone Scale Stages, Wet on Dry. Now before we start the demo, make sure you have all your materials ready. You're going to need your, your watercolor palette, a cup of water, paper towel, and you're definitely going to need one of these two watercolor brushes. Now what I have out for you is a 6 watercolor brush and an 8 watercolor brush. Now with brushes, the smaller the number, the smaller that brush tip is going to be. So you can again see that by the numbers imprinted on the side of the handle. And you can also compare the two tips. Okay, to start we're going to dip our brush into the water and we're going to move the red paint, red pigment into our tray. And you want to just fill up your tray with enough paint that's going to last you to cover the entire exercise. So go ahead and keep filling up your tray. Now that the tray is loaded, you want to test out your pigment first, your color. So take your paper towel and you're just going to wipe it, test out that color. If you think it's good, then you can move on to painting. Right, so this painting technique is called wet on dry. It's called wet on dry because our brush is wet, but the paper is dry. So what you're going to do is we're going to count to the fifth square. We're going to start in the middle of our scale. And then we're going to go ahead and we're just going to paint the center of that square or the rectangle first. And then you're going to slowly pull your brush um, gently and let the brush do the work. So you're just slowly pulling the color throughout that rectangle and letting the tip of the brush do the work for you. So lightly pull that brush around, move the pigment around. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take our brush, we're going to dip it in the water again to kind of clean it off. So what we're going to do first is we're going to go down the light side of the scale. So what we're going to do here is we're going to move the pigment over to a separate tray and then we're going to go on ahead and paint in that new uh, rectangle. Again, starting in the middle and pulling our brush, then we're going to get the edges. Now notice what happens here is we kind of messed up. We're, we're painting wet next to wet. So if you have um, a wet next to wet, you're going to get a bleed. So definitely when you guys are doing this, make sure you wait for your stage to dry before you paint the next stage, okay? So that your, your lines are nice and crisp because for this scale, we really want to see those stages, okay? So definitely be mindful of that. And again, keep fixing it as you go. And then now if we move on to the next step, we're going to dip our brush again, lighten it up on the palette. Once it's light enough, you're going to move back onto your canvas or your paper. Again, this time I'm painting on this, the opposite edge to hopefully not get that bleed. And then again, painting the center first and using the brush again to fill in the side. And we're just pulling the paint. So you can definitely see the stages and maybe that stage was a little bit too harsh so what you can do is you can add a little bit more pigment back to that stage to darken it up now it's always easier to go darker but it's always it's harder to get something dark lighter so that's why it was good that we started lighter and we can always just darken up that pigment afterwards All right and then if you notice before you saw those little dots um, what you can do is just wipe your brush off and pick up those dots okay then to complete the scale, you're just going to repeat the same steps, uh, dipping your brush in the water, moving it into the tray, and then lightening up that, that tray color, and then moving that onto your watercolor paper. And then as you go down the scale, your scale should get lighter and lighter, and your stages should slowly get to almost like a very, very light, light pink. Make sure you take your time and relax and use really good craftsmanship.